Hey guys, and welcome back to another card review. So, this card has been talked about by almost everybody and their mother, and I guess it's my turn to go ahead and talk about it and give it my two cents. So, today we are looking at Doomstar Magician. And God, that is some nice card art, Konami. That, that good, A, A, that is, that is good. I give you an A for that, because that, that card art is beautiful. So, just like every other thing, you know, the new game mechanic, there always has to be some kind of anti-card, you know, there's anti-synchro cards, anti-xe cards, anti-fusion cards, anti-ritual cards, I'm not really, I'm not sure about those, but I know that there's always an anti-something, and this is the anti-pendulum card. So, let's go ahead and go over this card and see whether it's worth it or not. So, uh, Doomstar Magician is a level 4 dark spellcaster, 1800 attack with 300 defense. His effect reads, once per turn, you can discard one card, then target one card in either player's pendulum zone, destroy that card, and if you do, draw a card. So a lot of people are saying, you know, some people are saying like, oh yeah, this card is good. And some people are saying like, oh yeah, this card is bad. No, I think Mega Capital G said that this card is underrated and, and will be underplayed. And that, you know, it's some hot shit. And to tell you the truth, in my opinion, no, not really. And my problem with it, it's too slow. It's way too slow. So as you can clearly read, his effect says only once per turn. Not once per turn during the other player's turn, once per turn. Which means that he's only spell speed one. Which means that he can only use his effect during your turn, not your opponent's. In my opinion, that's too late. You know, the decks that you'll be using this on. For example, of course, Cleplet. You know, you, you, can have this guy, you can have this guy on the field already. You can go first turn and you can go summon him and set some back row and pass to your opponent. They can be running Cleplet. You can go... They'll go, play tool, pay 800, search, play, play that, pendulum summon, kill your magician. Like, okay, that happened. Let's say that you don't summon him. And after all that, after they put their monsters in the pendulum and pendulum summoned, what are you going to do next turn? Summon this guy and destroy the tool where they still got all that pendulum on the field? That's what I'm saying. It's just too slow. The, the situation has already happened. It's already occurred. If they really wanted to make an anti-pendulum card that can be great and handle the situation, they should have made him spell speed too. It should have said once per turn during either player's turn, you can discard a card, then target one card in either player's pendulum zone and destroy that target if you didn't draw a card. That would be the or that would be the anti-pendulum anti-pendulums. That would be like summon this guy, yeah, go ahead, clip up player, play your damn tool. Destroy, draw a card. Well, of course I got discard. And that's another problem, is that you what technically zero out cut you destroy your opponent's card then you discard a card and you draw a card so so it's a one for one technically but that's my big problem with it i don't mind the effect i don't mind the discard i don't mind the destroying i don't mind or well, the destroying is actually kind of bad too because it's just going to go back to the extra deck but hold on i'll get back to that it's just too slow it's just too slow you guys want, and I've been, you know, a ton of people talking about it, like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to side this, I'm going to side deck this card for, you know, going against, you know, Kleeput and Pendulum deck. I'm going to side deck this. Why? It's too slow. By the time that this guy can even assist you, it's already too late. The monster's already been Pendulum something. It's too late. Unless your opponent is dumb and they only put one monster in the Pendulum zone. Which, that would just be dumb. Because they had that coming, you know. Don't commit, don't commit to your Pendulum zones unless you're ready to pendulum summon unless you're totally prepared. Don't just put one in one zone. Why? Why? Not only did you just neg yourself from your hand because, you know, activating a continuous spell is a neg, but you just revealed A, what you're doing, B, what you're planning on doing, and then C, you just put a big old target on the field. So, it's not even worth it. So, if your opponent is smart and they're using a pendulum deck, for example, Kleeput, they're not going to uh, overextend and commit unless it's a tool and you want a plus, but they're not going to overextend and commit to the pendulum plays unless they're playing on pendulum summon, in which, got, in which case this guy's too late. So, I don't think he's worth a side card. You should be main decking MST. MST will definitely hit the the pendulum monsters and send them back to extra, but at least they won't be able to pendulum summon. It will hit them and they will either have to A, find a different monster to put in that zone, or B, you know, wait until, you know, it's time because they can't get that monster out of the extra unless they pendulum summon that monster. So, you know, that's the thing. People are saying like, oh yeah, I totally want to side this, side deck this against pendulum deck. You know what would be a better card? Twister. Pay the 500, destroy a face up, spell a trap. Twister. That spell speed too. That can be used on your opponent's turn. That's way better than this guy. Way better. 
You want to know one of the best anti-pendulum cards that you can possibly imagine? Anti-spell fragrance. Anti-spell fragrance. Spell cards have to be set before they can be activated. Pendulum monsters cannot be set in the pendulum zone. Therefore, you cannot pendulum at all. It pretty much just shuts down creep puts. Like, just, no. You can't put, no. I know, God, I know how much you would love to put that tool in the pendulum zone and search, but no. No. Anti-spell fragrance. You can't. You can't. And I wouldn't be surprised if that card gets banned. So, let's go ahead and just imagine, if you will, that card gets banned. And we go ahead and... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I got distracted. I'm actually reading the effect off of Mega Capital G's video. And he, he spelled exclusive wrong. He put E-X-L-U... No, E-X-L-C-U-S-I-V-E. <laughs> like, oh, and okay. I, it, I, sorry, it totally distracted me. But anyway... That that would be the best that would be the best choice. But let's say let's imagine hypothetically speaking that card gets banned. What do we do? Like I said, just more more back row hate, more back row hate. They're part, they're face up back row, more back row hate. You know, slide into twisters. You know, twister is not a terrible side anyway. You know, being able to go ahead and hit. You know, you know if you're running a light deck, they're going to side in light prisoning. If you're running a dark deck, they're going to side in shadow imprisoning. You know, some decks uh, try to hit you with the royal decree when you run a lot of back row. You know, twister is not too terrible. So, you know, it, you know, it has its ups and its downs, but definitely, you know, Klee Pots being a thing, I think definitely Twister will be a really good side card just because you'll be able to have, you know, six MSTs instead of three and be able to get those tools out of the way. The quicker you get those tools out of the way, the quicker you can shut down that deck. So, you know, just like I said, hypothetically speaking. Overall, I just, I don't think that this card's that good. All right, let's move on to the whole destroy aspect. Like I said, destroying the Pendulum Monsters is not the best thing that you can do because when they're destroyed they go back to the extra deck and if they are able to pendulum summon they can always pendulum summon that monster that sent back to extra deck now sometimes that monster may not be the one that you want pendulum summon really right now it looks like the only card that you really want to pendulum summon that you've used in the pendulum zone is odd eyes you know not even if tool was destroyed i mean i guess you can just summon back tool and it has a nice booty but you know it's not gonna go ahead and maybe win you some games when it's a thousand attack but you know just destroying that monster and putting it back into the extra deck is not really the most ideal thing that you want to do. You know, if they wanted to make an anti-pendulum card, they should have said, send it to the graveyard, or banish it, or whatever. But don't put it back in the extra deck where it can be summoned again. That's just, no. No. So, for people saying that this card is good, for Mega Capital G saying that it's underrated, it's not underrated. It's just, it's just not that good. I, I would set in twisters over this guy any day of the week, any day of the week, because it will handle the situation quicker and better. But hypothetically speaking, if uh, if this spell fragrance isn't hit already, and I'm gonna tell you right now, pick up your entire spell fragrance, pick them up as soon as possible. They're like three to five dollars. Pick them up, just pick them up, because you know, because as soon as clay pots come out, they're just gonna go up in price. I mean, look. Just, just the hint and existence of upcoming clip puts. Look at, look at, uh, what was it, Summoner's Art? It's like a $10, $15 card, and it's rare. So, go ahead. Pick up your Anti-Spell Fragrance. Pick them up now. Because they, I can see that card being like $15 to $20. I can see that. Definitely. Alright, so, like I said, I just don't think this card is that good. I don't like the, I don't like how you, it's only spell play one. I really don't like that you have to discard a card. And then you destroy it, and then you draw, because you know there goes you know that Alice in Surprise. You know you always got to choose. It's like it's like Dark World Dealing, where actually it's worse than Dark World Dealings actually, because Dark World Dealings at least you play it, you draw, then you discard. You know it's like it's like hand destruction, hand destruction. You play it, you discard, you send to the grave too, not discard, send to the grave too, and then you draw too. And this guy, this guy's effect is a cost, so Dark Worlds won't get their effect, but uh, you know. It would it been awesome if you got to like draw a card, discard a card, then destroy, because then you at least get to see and a little bit into the future, right? But you know, with this, you you discard, you look at your hand, you, you activate the fact, you look at your hand. What do I want to get rid of? Whatever you choose to get rid of, it may not be as good or better than what you will be drawing off this guy's effect. So you may put yourself in a bigger hole because of it, and you know, it's just a little bit too risky. Not a big fan of this card. 
So tell me what you guys think about this card in uh, the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys on Thursday with another card to look at. Thanks for watching.